Uh, let's see. We've got Natalia in Asheville. Hey, I love Asheville. Hey. Hey, uh, thanks for waiting. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yay. How's the weather in Asheville? Because okay. it's one of it's like my third favorite town in the United States. Uh, still a little bit chilly, but good. Cool. What do you got for us? Um, so um, I was calling today because I heard that you'd never um, had a definition of spirituality from someone who claims to be spiritual but not religious um, that is consistent, and um, I wanted to provide like a sort of all reaching definition of spirituality because maybe that will may make it easier to discuss with someone. Um, okay. So, um, Although I, I would point out that if their definition is different from yours, you didn't make yeah. it any easy any easier for me to have a conversation with them. It certainly be, make it easier to have a conversation with you. Yeah. Um, so um, my um, definition of spiritual, or maybe it's easier for like someone to think about um, if they're atheists, I don't know, or if they don't believe in super um, spiritual things, um, not supernatural things, because not. Okay, let me try the definition. Um, so I would say that someone who is seeking spiritual growth is someone who is searching for an emotionally satisfying explanation for forces um, that they cannot easily explain. Why? Or not, not um, for invisible forces. Well, wait that a minute, wait them. a minute. Are we talking about a definition of spirituality? Um, or, uh, yes. Okay, because sure. I don't think that's what you just explained. Um, you started to talk about a person seeking spiritual growth. I'm, I'm asking, but, so I need to define, well, what are we talking about here? Well, I would define spirituality as the... Um, or someone's spirituality as, um, like, they uh, have a hard time explaining this. Um, That's how we normally experience a call yeah. about spirituality. This is, this is why you've heard me say that I have yet to be given a definition of spirituality that makes sense that ties to something real and demonstrable. It seems to be... It either ties to something real and demonstrable, in which case you should just describe what's actually real and demonstrable, or it doesn't, in which case it, it's incoherent. Well, um, I would... May I should say... Mm. Spirituality is... Um, is... Um, is incredibly subjective, which is why it makes yes. it incredibly impossible. It's impossible for someone to describe their own spirituality in a way that makes sense. But even that sentence, when you, when you talk about someone's own spirituality, you have some understanding of what spirituality means. All, all, we're, all we're asking is, what, what does that mean to you? Um, it means, um, yeah, it means an explanation for unexplainable things. <laughs> Spiritu and spirituality is an explanation for unexplainable things. Then they're not unexplainable, yeah. and, and spirituality would have to actually have explanatory power in I order mean, to be that. that. That's a contradiction, and you'd have to define spirituality enough. If you wanted it to serve as an explanation for things that we previously thought were unexplained, you would have to first define spirituality and then show how it's an explanation. Well, it's not a um, logical explanation. Well, then why would, general, we, why would we care about it? Well, wait, but if it's, what what kind of explanation is it? It's an emotionally satisfying one. Like uh, when someone says that they believe in like energy fields around someone. So spirituality like no for you. Proof. All right, so for, let me restate then and you tell me if I've got it. You're saying that for you, spirituality means something that makes you feel good about why something happened that you don't understand. Um, yes. But it doesn't help you understand and that, it, and it doesn't really explain it. No, and so it, I'm not sure what it is. It's, it's like you, it's an emotional, it's an emotional reaction that you have to things you don't understand that makes you that is like positive. It's like it helps someone understand the world emotionally. It's not 
That's why. Okay, well, here, let me, maybe, like, let me try an example. Okay, so something happens. We just had a caller describing some weird event in a field where people get scratches and they don't know why. All right, so we've got this weird event in the field. Everybody gets scratched, we don't know why. And so you feel good about that situation for some reason, it, because, even though you don't have an explanation. There, it's like you don't have an explanation for it, but you feel good because spirituality. Um, that might not be the best. Like, um, okay, say somebody doesn't have an explanation for death. So, a spirit, like, what happens after death? Because you don't know. Okay. It probably. So, the spiritual explanation for that for one person might be that they go to they go to some form of afterlife where they are where everything is rainbows and sunshine and they're happy and they get to spend time with their loved ones for the rest of eternity and that makes them feel good why is that a spiritual that, explanation is it cause you, because there's no um because it's it's a subjective thing like that's like um so I, I think to myself, after Matt dies, he goes to the Elysian Fields, and then when I die later, I will meet up with Matt and we'll be happy like friends in, in the afterlife. And you're saying that's a spiritual explanation, and I'm asking, what, what, why is it not just an explanation? Um, it depends on the person's feeling for, about it. So like, um, like the, the only... <laughs> Okay, so here's a question. What if I believe that Matt's going to die and be tortured in hell, and this distresses me because I, don't, I like Matt and I don't want him to be tortured? Would that be a spiritual explanation, even though it causes me emotional distress as opposed to makes me feel better? Yes. Okay, because so it doesn't have to be... Reason. Is that emotionally satisfying, then? Is that what you're calling emotionally satisfying? Because it's an over all worldview that for some reason that emotionally satisfies you and it doesn't necessarily have to be logical it might be because of your upbringing like so you believe that because okay so what you're saying as far as emotionally satis your you're calling emotional satisfaction simply capacity to accept it and have an emotional response to it eases your discomfort with but it wouldn't ease knowing. my discomfort it would make it worse no, it, it eases your discomfort <laughs> with not knowing the answer it doesn't mean that okay. the answer is yeah. satisfied okay, okay. Okay. So yes, but the and the answer could also be scientific. Like so, then what you're saying, know, what you're biology. calling the spiritual component. So I have this explanation about hell, and you're saying that spiritual to you just means that there's an emotional component to it. That anything that satisfies me to accept, so that I don't have to say I don't know. Why is that spiritual? Why isn't that just comfortable? Why wouldn't you call that a comfortable, comfortableality? Like. <laughs> Why is it well, spiritual? I'm saying when someone's usually trying to say that they're spiritual, because I wouldn't define myself as spiritual. Um, oh, well. When someone's then how trying to say you, that they're spiritual. So wait a minute, wait a minute. So, so you're yeah. answering for people who aren't here. That's yeah. not cool. I, I wouldn't define myself as, as a mystic. <laughs> and so why would I ever try to give a definition of, of what mysticism is? I mean, now, and I, I apologize, but this just seems to be a complete waste of time. Because your definition of spiritual is something subjective that can't be proven that seems to make people emotionally satisfied about blah blah blah. And it's individual to everybody, and, and I don't even consider myself spiritual. Yeah, so... So who are you, whose spirituality are you describing? I, I'd rather hear from people who actually identify <laughs> as spiritual so they can tell me what they mean, rather than somebody who doesn't identify as spiritual telling me... What they think what someone they think else someone means, like, even after saying that it's completely subjected and, and everybody has their own definition. Yeah, and it's, it's just as confusing as before we started, uh, or as ill-defined. Well, I mean, to say is because it's a subjective subject, it's hard to talk about in long terms. I agree that? it's difficult to talk about. Well, I've had a lot of difficulty talking to people about it, just like during this call. It's worse than that, because there may be a thousand people listening who identify as spiritual who are like, what the hell is she talking about? <laughs> right. we, we understand spirituality to mean this. And so... I, it reminds me, and I don't mean this in the offensive way, or it reminds me of creationists calling in to talk about biology. I mean, if, if, if this isn't what you are and you don't have a definition that you're, why would we? 
I, I don't understand how, how, how we're supposed to address this issue of I'm not spiritual, but here's what I think spiritual means. Uh, that's, I'd rather have the spiritual folks address it. Okay, well, thanks for letting me call in. Sure, okay. thanks, call. Call back anytime you want to, I don't know, talk about whatever. Whatever, and, and hopefully maybe something that you have a stake in. Um, uh, 